Hello, hello. This is going to be a special reading for the earth angels of the collective, people who are meant to help others, okay? And it's crazy because I asked for a song to go with the reading. I'm going to use the Beyond Lemuria deck that I got from Val over at Lightworkers Together. Um, Y'all follow her or subscribe to her channel. She's a great reader, positive messages. And she also uh, has tarot deck giveaways. First of all, okay, so the song I got was Beyonce, Halo. And that's crazy because I just did a reading yesterday. And it's, I think I titled it Halo. Or people will, um, people will be attracted to your light, something like that. So that's what this reading is gonna be about. Um, and I want to say a special thank you to Greg and Christina from OG Surf Daddy and Christy Fire on TikTok. All right, because they sent me these beautiful stones and I'm so grateful. And I wanted to let you guys know that I believe that these did help me with something I had to take care of yesterday that I've been kind of stressed about. So these are the beautiful Lemurian diamonds that they sent me. Thank you so much. Also, these two extra ones that they threw in, and forgive me, I'm not great with crystals. I have, I've been sent a bunch of crystals and I'm, this is so beautiful. I looked this one, I was able to find this one easy because uh, it spotted and I looked up the colors and some of the things that it was talking about that this one is good for is significant to me right now so thank you so much you guys thank you so much and they also sent this little this buffalo nickel as well so thank you guys and i'm going to um put these out here and pull some cards from the lemurian day beyond lemuria okay so let's see what we get they also included a nice note um, okay, so thank you so much, you guys. I was just trying to see if I should read any of that. Okay, here we go. Messages for the collective of, I believe, Earth Angels here. Light workers, messages. The Violet Flame. Okay, now I'm going to uh, go to the book which I don't do a lot. Okay, root chakra could be significant. That's at the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm gonna go to the book though, once I get the cards pulled and see what the exact meanings are. These kind of, the infinite and manifestia, beautiful. Wow, this is beautiful. I love these cards. Starseed elemental. Okay, this is a very special reading for the earth angels and light workers or anyone out here who's really just trying to help others. Okay, um, all right. So let me get a couple more cards, please. Third eye chakra. A lot of you guys, have, your third eye chakra has been opened. And if not, it looks like it will be. Awakened awareness as we talk third eye beautiful okay that was the perfect song for uh this reading okay so let's see can i get at least one more card and then i'm going to go to the book or maybe if nothing else comes out i'll just keep those three okay that's that's a lot um heart chakra soul star chakra shine your light okay stepping through and sacral chakra okay so i'm gonna keep this stepping through and shine your light okay endless opportunities beautiful 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 okay so we're gonna go to the book and see what it has for us here all right the Violet Flame, number 
the violet flame. Your psychic toolkit, if anyone wants to take a picture of that. Your psychic toolkit, recentering practices, deepening your energetic awareness, clearing your aura, healthy energetic boundaries, protection, removing trauma from your field, maintaining a high vibration, rebalancing after times of raised frequency. Your sensitivity will be heightening. Okay, and then this is the second page if you want to screenshot that and read all of it. Okay, so that's beautiful. And the second card, the infinite, number 49. The eternal life force, if you want to screenshot this. The eternal life force, cycles of growth rising from the ashes. Yes, very much Phoenix energy. Many deaths and rebirths within one's life. You are so much more than your physical body. Yes. The beings in Lemuria are said to have lived for many hundreds of years. As they were only partially incarnated, their bodies were much lighter, less physically actualized and left less affected by aging. They were also aware of their infinite nature. The Lemurians were multidimensional beings and regularly traversed realms other than the physical, including the places before and after death. Very interesting, okay. I do I do resonate with um Lemuria for some reason. Manifestia, okay. And if I'm pronouncing anything wrong Please accept my apologies. Number 36. This deck is so beautiful. Manifestia. Okay, if you want to screenshot that. Okay, manifestation, sowing the seeds of your dreams, creating your reality, trusting what you desire is already happening, magic thinking, pollinating your wishes as above, so below. You can decide how you want to live. The universe is in full support of you choosing to step into the optimal version of yourself. Dream big, then dream bigger. Now is a great time to start the projects you've been considering. Beautiful. Okay, if you want to screenshot the second page and I don't think that I got the second page of the infinite let me go back real quick in case y'all wanted that 49 okay so the second page is the divinatory meaning this card of rebirth can appear after challenges that have required a level of surrender you arrived at the beginning, revel in your newfound inner freedom. Blockages have fallen away. Doors are opening and there are opportunities to step into. Stretch your wings and see how far they can reach. Rise from the ashes like a phoenix, born anew, ready for a new cycle of growth. Celebrate, honor the road that brought you here and prepare to take flight with the tools you have gathered through your elevation process. Beautiful, okay. Stepping through number 47. Again, beautiful. That card comes out sometimes when there's a a new spirit guide coming through. Um, and I do feel like this is. So maybe these are spirit guides and ancestors coming through with this, with these Lemurian diamonds, okay? I do feel they are very powerful and have the have the capability of helping to bring about miracles, okay? Stepping through, if you want to screenshot that. And then here's the second page. The time is now. No more excuses or tomorrows. Whatever you've been putting off, the universe is now pushing you to make it happen. You may feel a little outside of your comfort zone, but that is where the magic happens. Take a leap. Combine your intuition with a plan of action. Wow, this resonates with me a lot right now. Thank you again, Greg and Christina. I have a daughter named Christiana, actually, and a brother named Chris. And um, one of my, well, I have one uncle, Greg. He's on the other side, so 
I like you guys' names. <laughs> okay, 47. Follow your heart, dream big, stepping through something that has been holding you back. The threshold, starting new projects, self-belief, it is all possible. The road less traveled, trust. Okay. That's interesting. That makes me think of my dad because he liked that book, <laughs> The Road Less Traveled. Okay. Um, he's on the other side as well. So I do feel like my I have some ancestors stepping through right now, which they don't really have to step through. They're always around, but <laughs> sometimes they step forward and you kind of notice them more is what I get from that. Okay. Shine your light. 44. If you want to screenshot that in the second page here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wow. It is easy to get caught up with other people's lives. There can also be a strong cultural belief that fulfilling a creative need is selfish. The irony here is that tending to our own needs harms none and we will have a lot more to give. Beautiful. It is time for us to collect our light and shift the vibration here on earth, starting with our inner sense of being. Try those things you have always wanted to explore. Weave enjoyment through your day-to-day -day experience. Find purpose and the inspiration to spring out of bed in the morning. It is time to thrive. Beautiful. That goes, this deck goes along so beautifully with the Lemurian diamonds, of course, because Lemuria, Lemuria. Okay. Divinatory meaning, where can you shine your light? When you have a purpose, you will also have limitless energy and no joy. Where can you grow enthusiasm in your life? Consider how you can be more aligned with your passions so you can harness your life. It may be time to return to something you enjoyed but stop doing for no good reason. You are a sovereign being. You regain compassionate empowerment and remember what lights your world. Doing what you love, time to thrive, giving from the overflow, life purpose, being authentically you, compassionate, self-empowerment, loving life, trying things you resonate with, bringing joy to others by being an inspiration. You are amazing. There is no one like you and no one can do you as you can. Some, yet, sometimes we feel that we need to be a certain way, a way not aligned with our authentic self. You may feel obliged to be something or someone. You may have stopped doing some of the things you love due to time or energy restraints. When you take time to do what truly makes you shine each day, you will light up and bring joy to other people's worlds. Worlds, Wow. As you go about your life, you will have a sense of purpose and feel naturally inspired to fulfill your responsibilities. You will also have more energy and love to overflow. Yes. Okay, for so much of my life, I did not paint as I thought it was self-indulgent. I questioned how doing what I love could be beneficial to others. Now the constant messages of gratitude I receive for anchoring my visions on canvas make me wonder how I ever thought that way. That is beautiful. Um, let's see, I'm going to pull some cards from the from my angel deck as well and the spirit guide deck. The Spirit Guide deck is another deck from Val at Lightworkers Together. Thank you, thank you, Val. Uh, over half of my decks have come from Val. Speaking of Earth Angels, that's one right there. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Okay, here we go. Please give me some messages of guidance and inspiration for these earth angels out here. The emperor coming out, okay? Wow. Now, there's there's a lot of... The angels have a lot of messages. <laughs> these seem to fall out. The star, okay? Page of Cups. Okay. And the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so with the Emperor here, the Star, this is really, um, it's really giving what 
what I've already talked about here, shining your light, being a leader for others. Protects against attacks in the courts. Gives safe travel and protects against conspiracies. Hmm. Okay, and the Page of Cups. Divine Comfort. Gives consolation and protects from one's enemies. Yes, the more you shine your light, the more you step into your power and help others, really, the more protected that you are. And I really believe that. Oh, and then with uh, this Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Ariel, the Revealing God. This is uh, also about the more that you step into your light or your purpose, um, the more things that are revealed, the more that your third eye opens, the more that your soul star chakra opens. And so that's, that's very beautiful. That goes along with the message I feel. Okay, and now a couple from... The spirit guide cards. Oh. Ask your guys. Okay. I need to rearrange my table. I don't have a lot of room over here. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, the Spirit God, please give your message for the collective of our angels. Give your message. Whoa, that's a lot. Let's see, am I gonna keep all of these? New beginnings, decisions, family, soul family, yes. Gifts, epiphany, intuition. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put those back. That was too many to come out at once. I'm gonna do them like this. I have tiny hands. Some of the bigger decks are hard for me to shuffle. Well, that's not wanting to do it. There we go. Self-esteem, competition, and deprivation. Okay. Guardian Angel Michael here coming through. And your warrior guides. Um, some of you may have been going through a time of feeling deprived of something, okay? Your prosperity guides are coming in when you when you really start to step into your um, purpose, mission, um, and whatever that is in your life, whatever that is in your life, whatever you feel led to do is what I'm talking about here. I feel like once you step into that, okay, these warrior guides as well as Archangel Michael are going to be around you, and they already are, but you'll start being blessed once you start shining your light here. In whatever way you do that, I mean, you could be an artist, okay, unconditional love. And some of you, as a mother, you know, that's your purpose. Wow. Appreciation, pleasure, and restriction. Joy, guys. I feel like some of you have been all up in your head here lately and need to experience some some happiness here going outside showing your appreciation for the earth okay aphrodite life force yes the it's like the power of the earth coming through there so i hope that that helped you guys or it was interesting in some way please subscribe and also check out og surf daddy and christy fire on tiktok i'm not sure if they're on you too. Well, I'll have to check that out. But thank you so much for being here. And thank you guys again. I love, I love, love, love everything. Thank you.